well, hey, hi, hello, YouTube. Aha, aha, time to draw, aha. Hope you guys are uh, gonna, uh, excited to draw with me today, our hour of pencil power. I'm gonna give it about 30 seconds. We'll get a few more of you wonderful creative souls to join me today. Really looking forward to it. Check it out. Yesterday we had Portugal with us and Burma and Brooklyn and Scotland and South Carolina, all over the U.S. and Canada and England and Turkey. So if you guys are uh, want to let me know where you're drawing from, you send me a comment and uh, let me know. Looks like we have Ukraine on and we have Russia. Hi, guys. Let me know where you're from. Would you in the text box? Today we're going to have fun drawing more one point perspective drawings. Lily, thank you for you getting my book. You can draw in 30 days. Uh, I sure appreciate it. If any of you guys want to order my books, I've got this, this great set. You can draw in 30 days. You can draw in 30 minutes. These are available on your on, favorite online real, retailer. Uh, I, the drawing in 3D book. That's another one of my fun books that you guys can get. And of course, the Imagination Station book. This book right here, this is this is a wonderful book. Now, these are the little art cards. All these books are real big and they're real heavy. And this card right here, um, this, uh, let me try to find it. I don't know where my little imagination station, there it is. I was gonna show you this right here. Check it out. If you guys, um, the Imagination Station, this was the TV series. So this book right here was the pretty much the director's script for uh, the Imagination Station TV series where we won the Emmy. And if you're interested in watching that show, it's on Amazon Prime, okay? Now, I was started teaching back in 1985 on The Secret City. They used to call me Commander Mark, so some of you might remember that. Well, hey, before I start, I got a couple announcements. One, my summer art camps, which I'll be... Uh, my performing visual performing art summer camp and my uh, uh, drawing visual art summer camps. They're all at my website. They're all 100% vis uh, virtual this year. They're all going to be 100% virtual, so you can sign up for any week. It doesn't really matter your location. You can sign up for any week you want. And my, um, and my website, just go to my website and you can sign up for it. It's really cool. And I'm, here it is. Uh, my website is markkissler.com, Mark, Mark okay? And if you have a chance, go and follow me on Instagram and uh, subscribe. Just please subscribe to my YouTube. I have a competition with my students, and they have like 100,000 subscribers, and I have 20,000, so I'm trying to catch up to them. Well, welcome to our noon hour of Pencil Power. This is totally 100% viewer-supported, you guys, and supported by you guys. You guys who have subscribed to my Draw 3D membership, it's 500 lessons. We've developed it over the past 15 years. This is a little bit behind here. We've had the tens of thousands of members, hundreds of hundreds of lessons. There's a 75% off code right here, or you can choose to use just a 50% code. Either one helps us out so much. We so appreciate it. Uh, also, if you want to support us, we have a, a our GoFundMe page, which is... Uh, uh, really, uh, real in, in, integral in helping us raise our fifteen hundred dollars a month. Our, that's our goal. So we sure appreciate it. And the GoFundMe is Mark Kistler's Kids Special. And uh, of course, I can't find it when I need it. So I'll let. Uh, um, isn't this funny? Uh, now I see. I, I started here. I was a little late today, and. Well, here's here's this this one right here, the Mark Kistler. Oh, is it is this it? No. Well, there it is. Uh, uh, Mark Kistler's kids special. Type that into GoFundMe, and you can make a donation. We so appreciate it. All right. Well, let's get going here, guys. We're gonna draw lots of one point in uh, exteriors. So I'm gonna get my. Let's go ahead and get the our our dot in the middle. About in the middle here, and then we're gonna draw our four our quadrants. We're gonna draw four squares here. Four squares. It doesn't have to be perfect. Mine's not perfect by any 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 imagination, any stretch. I'll put a little clock in the middle for our hour of pencil power. 
And then I'll position this guy right over the our first square. And we're gonna have so much fun, you guys. I always look forward to our hour we have together to draw. So let's let's go ahead and start like we did yesterday. And we're gonna start with our, our horizon, our dot, right? But instead of drawing a, a box, we're gonna draw the horizon line about, about a little bit lower than, uh, about right in the middle. About right in the middle. And then right in the middle, I'm gonna put my guide point. That's gonna be our guide point. And we'll go ahead and we'll use that. Where's our trusty ruler I had here? I had a handy ruler out here, but I don't know what I did with it because I, oh, there it is, found it. I'm going to use my ruler, but you can just do it freehand. So I'm going to, well, I'll just do it freehand too. Look at, I'm going to draw a line. This is coming down. This will be our road. We're going to draw this roadway. Okay, everything's going to be lined up to this, to this point here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Mine's a little bit offset. And then the top, well, I'm going to do a row of trees. And a, and a roadway, so all the they're all going to be coming down. See, th this will be the tops of the trees. This will be the bottoms of the trees, and this is then the roadway will be right here in the middle. I'll put a little roadway here. Okay, and it's going to be really cool, you guys. You're going to love it. Hi, Diane Kelly. Hello, Sonia from Tomwater. Hi, guys. Good to see you. Hello, hello, hello. Great to hello. Uh, uh, Beckham and Abram from Wisconsin, and thank you for uh, putting my, Diane put my autograph book, if you want to get that, you can pre-purchase it, it's all in the text there, in the text, read through the text, oh, this is so wonderful, you guys, good to see you guys, see, hello, Daniel, hello, Sonia, hello, Fi, great to see you guys. Uh, that's a good question. The boys want to know how many perspective points there are. We're going to get into that question and as we progress. Right now, we're just using one. And then later in the week, we'll be using two. But there's some people use three, four, and multiple perspective points. Um, she's got, Okay, here we go. And so now, so we have a roadway. Now, let's, let's we're going to draw the trees. I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw one, one tree here. Look, I'm going to draw a pretty thick tree, okay? Curve the bottom, all right? Now I'm going to put another tree. I'm going to do about three here. Look at this. I'm going to do another tree a little bit smaller. See that? Curve the bottom here. So this tree is going to be a little bigger, and it gets smaller. That's that word size. There's 12 words of drawing. And then down here, way down here, look at this tree. This tree is getting pretty small. Maybe I'll put, do another one, like a fourth tree, way down there. All right, so this tree is going to be bigger. Now right across here... Right, right across here, about horizontally, about to see what I did, just almost horizontally across here, I'm gonna draw another, I'm gonna draw this line. This will be this tree here. And I'm gonna make it, uh, these vertical lines here, I'm matching the side of the paper, trying to. Okay, so there's one tree. And then this tree is gonna come across, I'm gonna do this tree right here. This is number two tree, this is so fun. We just kind of block it in. It's a little bit smaller. Is it this cool? And then uh, uh, we're going to do another tree right here. Uh, and then look at this. This is the big one, the second one. And then the third one comes down a little bit, a little bit smaller. So there's one, two, three, and then this one, look, I'll do another one, even smaller. Isn't that cool? So we curve the bottom, that's contour, one of those 12 words. Let's, let's put that 12 word chart up here. If you guys want to get a, a print of this 12 words, you go to my draw, go to draw3d.com, okay? It's a free printable, and you print up these words, and these words are really going to help you. So now this is size, you see, it gets smaller as they move away. Here's contour at the bottom. Isn't that fun? All right, so we got a good start. We have our trees. How are you guys doing? Give me a uh, technical uh, co comment, would you guys? Would you guys? Uh, oh, yeah, Lily asked if we can draw some bunnies sometimes. Absolutely. We'll why don't we draw bunnies and robots next week? Give me an audio fi five, video five. Give me one, one through five of how you're doing technical-wise. And then let me know one through ten. Uh, how you are, if you're enjoying it. 
All right. All right. So here we go. We got the. Now we're going to put some clumps of trees here. I'm going to draw. I'm going to draw this, this clump of leaves. Like the, these big, big spheres. Look at this one tucks underneath. Look at this. It gets smaller and smaller as it gets back here. Now this one, watch this one. I'm going to draw this clump right here. Cut this clump. There's that. There's these leaves, a the clump of leaves. Right? And then this clump gets a little bit smaller. Wonderful. Look at this. These trees are going to get smaller clump. And then the third one gets smaller down here. And then this fourth one. One, two, three. The fourth one. Look at this. The fourth one's down there. Look at this. Look how small it gets. So we're going to, they're like, like lollipops, right? We are going to do a candy cane lane in just a second. And that's, and that's a really fun one. This is coming up. We're going to draw this one, this candy cane lane with all the candy canes going uh, with the, they're stuck in the snow. All right. So now we start adding some detail here. Let's go ahead and where, where the, the tree comes into the branch, just put some tree leaves. And on this one, watch this on this one, I'm going to draw, these are groomed trees. So I'm going to draw the texture of the tree around here. So you're looking up, and the tree kind of uh, the tapers a little bit bigger as it comes down. And there's one big cl clump of leaves here. Okay, big tree, big and a tree stuck in sticking into the bottom there. All right, and you put a little shadow back underneath here. Maybe put put a little more texture away from the light source. Okay. I always like it in dark underneath there. All right, so there's one, there's one tree. Now, well, let's do the next row right here. I'm gonna put this tree, put the put the leaves, and you see where the branch kind of sticks in there, or the trunk, excuse me. Now down here at the bottom, watch this. I'm gonna I'm gonna put like little little grass, little tufts of grass, there's a little variation, little variety. I'm gonna put a couple clumps of grass. Do you guys like this nut fun? All right, so now coming back here, curving the bottom, I'm going to put clumps of grass again, little clumps of grass, and then coming around here, let's use texture to make it look all poofy. Okay, some put a bunch of leaves, some big, some small, like WWWMMMW, do for a variation, a variation of the lines, and then we'll use the, the leaves. You can use the texture to shade. You see that? You can use the texture to shade. Now, also, I'm going to use a little scribbles uh, shading here, too. And I'm going to shade just a little bit of the tree trunk on the side. Definitely a shade under here. A little bit of tree trunk. A little bit of the tree trunk down the side. It gets lighter. This is blended, remember. It's dark on the edge, and it gets lighter as it goes toward the, uh, the light source, which, to me, I'm putting the light source over on the right. Okay, isn't that cool? Now, what you can do is you can put a little shadow here, the cast shadow coming onto the road. We're gonna we're gonna detail that road in just a second. The shadows are cool. Uh, good job, I love you guys. I thank you for telling me that you love the video. I love drawing with you guys here. Now, this is actually a drawing that's going to appear in my new book. You can draw in 30 seconds. So I'm doing two, two, two projects at once. I'm drawing with you guys. I'm having so much fun. And also, I'm actually working on illustrations that are going to be in my, in my new book of You Can Draw in uh, 30 uh, seconds. And I'm trying to find that. There it is. That's my new book right there. You can get that on my website online, okay? Now, now watch this. So let's go ahead and let's let's draw the, the here's the leaves. Now draw the leaves and then we'll draw. We're looking up here. See, this is above, this is our horizon line. See, this back here, this is our, our eye level. See this? This is the horizon line. That's our eye level. And so everything above that, you look up at it. So we're going to see the tree actually how it goes in. The trunk goes into the to the uh, clump of leaves, into the twigs and leaves, right? I'm going to put a grass, nice grass area at the bottom. 
And I'll go ahead and clean this up a little, a little bit. This is really good. Let's go ahead and lighten this up here. Thank you, Diane. Good to see you, Diane. Thank you for posting all of my these links to my book. And if you guys, if you love these lessons and you want to support me, I sure appreciate it. Uh, if you're enjoying this, if you value drawing with me each day like this, please support me. Uh, we need it. Uh, my family and my team needs it more now more than ever. And if you have the resources, please do sign up for my Draw 3D. Please make a contribution to my um, GoFundMe page. Um, we're trying to raise $1,500 a month to cover uh, just a fraction of our cost. And uh, we appreciate it. So if, you're, if you are valuing these lessons, might I, might I implore you to contribute a, a dollar a lesson? If you guys you have the resources and if you're enjoying yourself, count how many lessons you've done and, and make a contribution of a buck a lesson. Could you do that for me? If you can, I appreciate it. Again, the most important thing is that you're drawing with me. I value that even more than your financial support, the fact that you're drawing with me. All right, so now look at this. It gets smaller. We're using that word, the size. That's one of those 12 words. We're using shading here. We're using shading and we're using shadow. We're using cast shadow. These cast shadows, are. I'm still putting cast shadows to the side of the tree is on the ground. See that? We're gonna draw the draw the uh, leaves here. Isn't that cool? And then I draw this and draw these leaves. Isn't that great, you guys? And it gets smaller as it moves away. I love it. I love it. Now let's go ahead and add shading. Now this is, we're having fun with one point perspective. Perspective comes from that root word of, from Latin, spec. Remember we talked about that yesterday? How, let's, let's go over that again. So you see, remember, perspective, the root word is spec. And it really means alignment, lining things up to create the visual illusion. Now, spec, the Latin word uh, translated is to view or to see. So perspective means to, to view or to see depth in your paper, near and far. Someone type in near and far, would you? Someone type in, in the text box, type in near and far. That's our whole goal. We're trying to, trying to create this wonderful illusion of near and far. Uh, the angle for the cast shadows, you can actually uh, do with the scientific approach and, and you know, figure out exactly where the light source is and use rulers. I'm just guessing in my, in, in my drawing, um, I use the drawing direction compass for, my, for all my drawings. This is a really handy way to do it. It's a quick way to do it. Um, here's the drawing compass, another chart that you can get. Now, for me, I put my shadows mostly consistent in southwest because I'm putting the sun up here. If the sun's up here, the shadow generally comes down in the southwest. See this line right here? See this line coming down here? And that's in direction southwest. Generally southwest, okay? Near and far. Thank you for typing that in. Uh, now, look, isn't this cool, you guys? And you could put little extra details if you want. Now, what if we... What if I put a little monkey's tail coming out here? When I was in India, I just, it was so fun. I got to see all the monkeys and all the trees. I'm going to put a little monkey's tail. I'm going to put maybe another monkey's tail coming down over here out of this tree. I'm going to draw another monkey's tail. Let's draw some monkey's tail coming out here. Little monkey's tails sw uh, swimming out. You can put a little monkey. I'm going to put a little monkey's tail coming down from over here. Little monkeys tail, they're just hanging out in the trees. Isn't that funny? Little monkeys, they're ha ha. Good to see you guys. Uh, this is wonderful. All right, now, so put the shadow. I'm gonna put little shadow to separate them. And I'm really really having fun with this. Now, back in the back, watch this. I'm gonna darken this. I, I want to make the I just love separating that horizon. So I'll darken it, get it lighter as it comes up. 
Make it dark here and get lighter as it comes up. So do you guys, how, how are you doing? You enjoying this lesson? Isn't this fun? Dark here and have it get lighter as it comes up. Very, very cool. Love it. Now, as far as the, the road goes, I think I'm just going to make kind of a, a, a gravelly road here. This is just a little dirt trail. And maybe you can put like little gravels here, little uh, some little gravel on the road. And then the way to make this road really stand stand apart from the background is what we can do is we make uh, let's let's make the, the the dirt road let's let's value that dirt road in. I'll put a little gravelly, uh, uh, just I'll value that in. I'll darken that in. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'll blend in the light for the trees. Now, hi, Lynn. Uh, yes, you know what? This is a good time to pull up that license to flop again. Remember, the more mistakes you make and the, the messier drawings to start with, the better and the more precise they're going to be as you, as you progress, okay? You guys are going to get better and better and better the more you practice. Have you been drawing with me every day? I hope you hear me, and I hope you get inspired every day to just the more mistakes you make, the better and the better and the faster your drawing skill is going to skyrocket, it's going to launch. All right, so there's there's our drawing number one. Now let's go to drawing number two, and I want to do that same idea here, but this time I want to do the candy cane lane. I want to draw the Santa Claus's candy cane lane using one point perspective. Doesn't that look fun, you guys? So let's do the same thing. Let's go ahead and I'm going to extend the horizon line. Coming over here, uh, tell us a story, please. Oh, you guys, you love my stories. Th thank you. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. You love my my little stories. I have I have some uh, lots of fun stories I'm going to put in the book. Um, now, watch this. On this one right here, so right here, do you, you, you want to hear the story when I taught Miley Cyrus how to draw? Or do you want to hear the story when I taught the Disney uh, folks how to draw when they were creating, before they created Madagascar and Despicable Me and the Minions and Frozen? Or, hey, I have a great story about when I taught the the number one bowl rider, the rodeo rider on the planet how to draw. That was fun. That's a good story. I got some fun. I, I got some stories about when I met the Star Trek crew, uh, Data and... Um, um, the uh, checkoff, and it was just so cool. And I got some good stories of how when NASA, um, NASA, here, look at what NASA did. I went down to NASA, and the NASA uh, flight director put my, put this image of me up on the right, on the flight control floor. They put that image, isn't that cool? They put it right up there, uh, right next to the image, like when they were docking the Dragonfly resupply uh, ship to the International Space Station, and so all the monitors in this in the space in the. Uh, let me see if I have a picture of it. I might have a better picture to show. Here it goes. So here's here's what I'm talking about. You know, Mission Control. Here's Mission Control right here, and so this these are pictures of the floating astronauts out there and the different you know things of trajectory trajectory and. Um, you know, this is another video of different parts of the space station. And look at this, right? This guy right here was the flight director, and he pointed to us up there. We were in the VIP viewing gallery watching, and then he pointed to us. He knew I was going to be there, and he stuck this this graphic right there. He stuck this graphic right there and uh, welcomed, welcomed uh, me to the – it was so cool. I think what was the, the, the most exciting, there was there – was, uh, um, my guy right here, Jack Moore, my one of my students and fans from uh, NASA, is a, a very, very amazing, talented NASA artist. And this is Zebtron. That's Joel Gorey. He was there with us, Zebtron from the Secret City. And here's my son. Here's Mario. And then Jack got Mario's own NASA broom, and Mario got a mop mission control. It was just so cool. Here's all my summer art camp staff. I'm going to miss all these guys. All my art camp staff was witness to NASA. 
And this summer, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have all virtual, okay? Our summer art camp is all virtual. So please, please do sign up for our fine art summer camps. Go to my website, just pick any week, any week at all, because it's all gonna be 100% virtual. Um, you can look at it today. Don't sign up yet um, because we're going to re redo the whole site as far as um, it's going to be $99 a family. Just you can st do one hour. You can do five hours a day. Isn't that it's going to be really very, very affordable for a whole week. Put a dot right here. We're going to draw the candy cane lane now. So I'm going to use uh, my guidelines here. Watch this. I'm going to dr draw guidelines coming down here. Now you, you can, if you want, you can use a ruler, but I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna just use my freehand line. Now you could, you know, just go all the way through like that if you, if you wanna make it symmetrical, like a big X through the dot right there. All right, so I'm gonna have my candy cane lane. Now notice what I did here, I, that this candy cane is bigger and it gets smaller as they move away. So I'll do the same thing. I'll do three or four. I'll do one candy cane here, vertical line, and then the candy cane, the candy cane's gonna droop over the, I'll just, the first one, the first one uh, is really important because you're gonna get the shape. All right, so we have, we have our first candy cane. It's gonna be stuck in the snow right here. There's candy cane number one. All right, now for the next candy cane, so we'll do a candy cane number two, do candy cane number three. They're gonna get smaller and smaller. I'll do three candy canes, then I'm gonna put a little castle at the end here. So I'll put, do three, I'm gonna come horizontally across here. See, come horizontally across here. And the, um, yeah, now if you wanna, if you wanna get a picture of all four of these drawings, go to, uh, on my Facebook, I'll post I'll post after this lesson a review post of all the of all four drawings, and that's where I want you to put pictures of. You know what? I need this to go this way. I, you know what? I think uh, no, that's all right. That's all right. I was gonna pull this one back further, but no, I'll just work with it. It's all right. See, I'm just scribbling. Be sloppy. Doesn't matter. You can clean this up later. See, we're just now. This one's leaning a bit, right? And I want it to be vertical. So I want to pay a little more close attention to the side of my paper. All right. Now this one seems to be a little bit lower, so I'll pull this one lower to match it. All right, so there's one candy cane. Now I'll do another candy cane here, about right here for another one. There's another candy. This Isn't this fun, candy cane lane? It's like Christmas in, in uh, uh, April, right? They'll do another candy cane. They get smaller and smaller as they move away, right? Is that fun? How are you guys enjoying yourself? One through 10. Give me one through 10. You guys having fun? Uh, hi, Annabelle. Now, watch this. So I'm going to curve this, this one. Curve this one around. So we see, see, we see that foreshortened circle. And then this one, we'll see this four shortened circle. Notice how it's getting smaller back there, smaller and smaller and smaller. So this one, we can see the four shortened circle. Up, oh, I have to pull it out further. There's a little candy cane, and then this one, pull it out a little further and curve the bottom. Isn't that cool? And then way down at the end down here of Candy Cane Lane, I'm going to put uh, Candy Cane Lane. Now, what I'm going to do down here, I'm going to put a castle. So back here, I'm going to put a big castle. So I think it's, we'll put like, it'll have a, the peak there, the peak here. It's going to be a silhouette of a cool castle. Okay, it'll be really cool. This is like Santa Claus's castle, right? You can see all these all these spires coming up. This is gonna be a silhouette. All right, isn't that cool down there back there? You see the castle at the end of the road? All right, this will be really cool. So I'm gonna draw the four. Now I'm gonna darken in the candy canes. Let's, start, let's get the detail now. 
Now this is size, this candy cane's larger. And you see how you, you're, you, this is above your eye level. It's above the horizon, so you're looking up and you see underneath, you see that foreshortened uh, circle. Now down here, instead of drawing the grass, I'm gonna draw clumps of snow. And I don't know, have you ever heard of Calvin and Hobbes? Uh, um, I learned how to draw snow like that, little piles of snow like this from Calvin and Hobbes, from looking at that artist work and I just love Bill Watterson's drawings. I love it. And I have copied and studied Bill Watterson's work so much over the years. Like, hey, Robert, how are you? Uh, yeah, uh, M.C. Escher is one of my also all-time heroes. All right, let's look at it. I'm going to draw lumps of snow. We use different sizes of lumps, some big, some small. Use variety, okay? You little clumps. Put some snowballs if you want. Little clumps here. Little clumps of snow. I'm going to put some snowballs here. Little clumps of snow. And then I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw these wonderful candy canes getting smaller. Santa's workshop. This is the, the north, the, why the north pole, of course. Where are we going? So we're going, and I, I'm lucky. I live in a house where we, we believe in Santa Claus. My Wonderful special abilities. Mario has has the 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 uh, belief that for for our whole lives, Santa rocks our house. I we just I love that everybody in our house. We all believe we believe, and every year he shows up to validate that. That's just so awesome. Here, let's curve. Look at this. Let's, uh, now I'm going to put the, the, the candy cane here. This one's going to put a clump of snow here. Just look at these overlapping wrinkles, you see? And then I, and I draw a little clump coming down over here, see? Little clumps coming down here. And this, and then the, the, the road's going to be lumpy. It's going to be cool. This is really fun. I'm going to put a clump here, a big pile of snow. And you can see the this next candy cane's smaller. And and how are you guys? This is fun. I'm, I'm concentrating so much on the drawing that I'm not looking at your comments. Oh, good. You guys, you guys saw my Calvin Hobbes comment. That's good. I'm getting some comments about that. Calvin and Hobbes is one of my favorite, uh, and my first favorite was the Flintstones. I copied and traced so, so many of the, uh, the Flintstones coloring books and and uh, comic books, and then uh, Charlie Brown and and uh, Sn Snoopy. I copied so much of uh, Schultz's comic strips, and then. Uh, I went, my next was uh, Johnny Hart, BC, uh, the comic strip, BC. And when I was up in Binghamton, New York, one time I was on a, a, a search to find Johnny Hart. He's from Binghamton. And I was up there doing a summer art camp. And uh, I uh, I didn't, I, I never I never saw, I never, couldn't find him, but it was neat to see all his artwork and, and different uh stores and i'm going to draw this this silhouette because i'm going to make it the dark behind the castle i'm going to make the castle like shining in the see i'm going to do i'm going to make the castle bright back in the background like that all right so now now we're going to put the detail of the of the uh the the spot now watch this i'm going to draw these the candy cane uh stripes wrapping around here see this they're wrapping around and the stripe up here, all right, so you can see this is one stripe. I'm curving it more than you think you have to. See, we're going to use contour here. I'm going to darken this in, curve this more than you think you have to. And I'm going to darken this one in. Are you guys enjoying this? Do you like, do you like drawing all this, the little detail like this? Uh, uh Richard says, Commander, how how goes the drawings for people who ordered your books for this plus ship? Uh, thank you. If you do, if you do order that, the book is still in. We're not uh, 
We're not finished with the production of the book yet. So it's a pre-order, and thank you. I have a few of you guys who have pre-ordered it, and I appreciate it so much. And we'll get that, uh, we'll, I'll get the uh, books. Once I get the books published and get them shipped here to my studio, um, and then I will draw the inside front cover for you, and then I'll get it shipped out. So a couple months, and I so appreciate your patience and your business. Oh my goodness, attitude and gratitude for sure. And also, all you guys who are donating to my GoFundMe, some of you are really going through when you're you're sending in just um, um, wonderful contributions, and I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Our goal is fifteen hundred dollars a month to help us keep the lights on. So appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now up here, let's uh, let's add more stripes. I just love adding these stripes. Add these stripes here. And they're gonna come, they're striped, they're, they just curve down, curve them even more than you think you have to. These these like barber pole stripes, right? The candy cane stripes. Just enjoy the process. And I'm looking up piles of snow. Look, oh, well, thank you for, for uh, I got this definitely from, from Calvin and Hobbes. So you just, you put the little shadow underneath it right there. See that? Put a little shadow, little shadow under the snowballs. And then little shadows really help, help accentuate that, the, the, uh, the snow, see? Put little shadows, and then you want to put a shadow inside here too. You know, right along the base here. Put that shadow down along the base. And also right along the roadway. Are you having fun, you guys? Isn't this cool? We're having a nice, chill, relaxing. And sometimes you just take your time. Sometimes it takes a takes a while to finish a drawing. So you just take your time and enjoy the process. Enjoy the detail. It's very relaxing, isn't it? Someone type that type in ah oh, the Zen of drawing. All right, so now over there, I'm going to work on this one. I'm going to have the the uh, the curve going up like this. And I'm going to wrap it more. There we go. So much fun. Thank you, Jack. Jack a line. Jack a line, right? Am I, everybody, tell me where you're from. What country are you guys from? What country are you guys from? Let me know. Let me know. T send me your country. I want to see. I want to add it more to my international visitors list here. I like to get to. I have a fun chart. Here it is. See, I had Portugal yesterday and Burma, of course, USA, Scotland, and Canada and England and Turkey and America. It's so fun. I even have a whole wall of clocks. Uh, U.S. Okay, we got the U.S. in here. Our candy cane street lights. Yep, the candy canes glow at night. Walla Walla, Washington. I've taught there. I've been to Walla Walla, Washington before. I've been to Walla Walla. Here, I think I had sushi in Walla Walla. And up in Washington, I think. I can't remember if that's right. Ohio. Hello, Ohio. So here we are. Drawing our candy canes coming down. You guys having fun? Boy, this might turn out to be a little longer uh, since I have I have two more one point perspective drawings I want to draw. We might we might be going overtime today. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll curve these. Curve them a lot. Anybody want to go overtime with me? If you guys can go over time, uh, let me know. Well, I mean, of course, I could just keep on going. And if you can stay, stay. We have 40 people on YouTube. This is great. How many people do we have on Facebook today? How many people? These are contour lines, one of the 12. Adam, thank you, Adam. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Adam. Uh, mission overtime, sir. All right. Missouri, USA. This is wonderful. Let me check out our comments here. 
This is looking good. This is really good. Oh, Richard was referring to two drawing and 30 days books. I have one coming from you at some point. Oh, well, thank you, Richard. Hey, it's, uh, you keep nudging me. Send me an email. The best way is send me an email. I haven't been doing any shipping right now. I guess I can order all that online and have the stamps come to me and the packaging comes to me. I just haven't done that, and I've been meaning to. Uh, one of my... One of my skills that I'm trying to strengthen on this new, well, my, that was my one of my New Year resolutions was to like get better at getting things shipped out in a timely manner to you wonderful, wonderful fans and supporters. I'm really, that's one of my weaknesses, I have to admit, is getting things shipped out. So thank you for the nudge. I appreciate it and your patience and your business. Thank you, guys. Don't get mad at me. <laughs> Don't get mad at me. I'm sorry it takes me forever. No, I'm sorry. I'm trying to do better. Here, curve this. Okay, look at Let's curve these contour lines. Curve the contour. I love the shadow. Do you guys have fun now? How are we going to make these candy canes stand apart? Stand and put put piles of the snow. See, here's the roadway. I'm going to put piles of snow. And so I'm going to darken around, around just on the in the uh, field, right? This is the field next to the candy canes. So I'll put a little shadow here kind of highlight see that just kind of highlights the road put the shadows toward the all right now now comes some fun and we got our castle back there we can see the castle way in the back i think i'm gonna put i think i'll put one more peek up there just a couple more in the background all right so we have we have our castle now, way in the back, how are we going to make this stand out? Well, I want to put, I want to put like this this dark area here. So I'm going to I'm going to draw I'm going to draw this really this I'm going to darken this in this really really dark, kind of like a half moon behind the castle. So let's see how this works. This is an experiment now. So I want to I want to see how I can do this without making it too confusing. So I'm going to darken this kind of half moon back behind the castle. And I know, okay, I, that's the edge of it. Does this make sense what I'm trying to do? See, I want, I want the castle to, to be back here behind it, and I want to have all these the lights coming out here. So this will be fun. Now I think what I'll do is I'll start about right here. All right, this is gonna be cool. Take some time, take some patience. Are you guys with me? Do you guys like it? So we're, we're gonna make our castle really bright. So take your time and get all those little details in there. Isn't this fun? And then if you have any comments, you go ahead and put a comment in there. I'll try to, try to look up. Uh, oh, well, thank you, Christi Christina. I love, I love one point and two point. Now, we're going to talk about two point perspective in another lesson coming up. So I'll darken this in. There you go, coming around the top. Isn't that fun? All right, so we have our castle. Now, what I got to do is I'm going to darken in the horizon line and make it get a little bit lighter. Just one step at a time, see? Just one, and it builds in layer upon layer of detail, layer upon layer. Enjoy the process. Don't rush it. Enjoy the process. Don't rush it. Sometimes, sometimes me, with my, I, I'm very impatient, and so sometimes I tend to rush it, and you can tell. It'll look a little looser, a little, little less controlled, a little sloppier. And so then I'll generally then just re redo it. So it doesn't really pay for me to, to, be, to rush it because then I have to redo it because I don't like putting out sloppy work, right? 
So take your time. I don't mind uh, it, like candy canes kind of tilting and it not being perfect. I don't mind that at all. But I don't. Uh, I don't want to look make it look rushed. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? So I'm making it get lighter and lighter as you go up. Now let's shade the side on this one. Now this is interesting. I'm gonna have like the the light. The this is I, I'm using the darkness, but I'm gonna have the light coming like from the middle, coming down. So the the the, the shading. This will be interesting. Look at this. The shading is gonna be on the right side here. <laughs> Watch this. Then it'll, this is different. You've never seen me shade the right side before. <clears throat> Let me see here. I got a, do you have merchandise? Well, hey, Pratik, yeah, please go to, uh, go to uh, my website, click store. Um, or actually the best, the best way, if you want to get some of my drawings, um, is to go to my website, click nonprofit. And you, you'll go to, you can support my nonprofit with my artwork. All my artwork is available at my nonprofit, and I'm gonna find my nonprofit logo to throw up there, which I I have so many fun logos that there's a, I have piles of stuff here, so I just have to take my time. There it is. So if you go to the Imagination Initiative and you click Donate or Store, and you'll see all of my. Uh, merchandise donated from artists from um, around the country. Not all. We have. We just started posting them in there. But click donate into that imaginationinitiative.org or go to markkisser.com and click nonprofit. All right. So now watch this. I'm going to I'm gonna take my stompy and I want to blend some of this. But let's add a little more shading. I am also 10 blocks away from your house. Pratik. I'm not quite sure. Uh, are you in are uh, are you in Tomball, Texas, or in Spring, Texas, Pratik? Are you? Where is Pratik? So I'm gonna shade here. Shade here. All right, lighter and lighter. Okay, now. Take this. Now watch this. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna blend the candy cane. Uh, uh hi, hi, Pratik. I am I'm giving you lots of shots out because you're you're creative and you're drawing with me. Alright, so I'll blend the sides. Now I wanna I wanna blend this out. See this coming from the coming from the castle here, see? Coming from the castle. I think I'll just give this a little, just a light, a real light value. All right, wonderful guys. Well, hello, Anina, all the way from England. Good to see you. Look at this. Can you believe what I'm shading the uh, the side? And now look at all these lines I'm having radiate out from the castle. All right. So we're just gonna. Practice this radiating. See, I'm using my stompy, and I'm trying to keep these lines all, all going out from the center here. There, isn't that cool? Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'll value, I'll put a little value in the background behind this on the snow back here, and we'll, we'll leave the roadway white. I'll kind of darken in this, just a little value, a little pressure. You can use your the gray area back there as your as your palette. You see. All right, isn't that fun? There we go. All right, that's awesome. Uh, wonderful job. Let's go on now. We we got we got our one point perspective trees, one point perspective candy canes. Now I want to do. A really, this is a cool one. Now, this is a little, little variation of the one-point perspective. I want to do this, this, uh, this desert roadway. Okay, I love, I love the idea. There's one-point perspective, but I'm, I'm making the road meander through the cactus. So let's, do, let's do that one down here at the bottom. And I think what I'm going to do on this one is, 
since we're running uh, low on time, um, I think I'll do, what's one am I going to miss here? Um, I got a good one for tomorrow for the buildings. Let's, let's do a desert scene down here. So for this one, since we're running low on time, I'm going to make, uh, well, this one will have three drawings in it because it's a big one. So on, <clears throat> on this one, we'll do this one as a bigger drawing. And so I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw the horizon line a little higher. All right, so there's our horizon line on our page. I'm going to do it. On, on this one, what I'm going to do is, uh, instead of drawing four drawings, I'm going to make this just the third drawing. We'll, we'll do a little more uh, full page kind of thing going here. It'll be cool. All right. Oh, well, thank you, guys. You can put elves in there if you want. Now, watch this. Let's draw. Where's the uh, the one point at the end of it? The end's going to be right here. That'll be our, our end. So the roadway... The cactus roadway is going to start, remember, in direction southwest. I still use the drawing compass. And then I'll have the roadway turn and coming in direction southeast. See this? We're using the drawing compass still. See this? Southwest, southeast. And about right here, I'm going to turn coming down again in southwest. We're going to meander it. Now, here's something really interesting about this. Now, watch this. And I have... In this book, I have some really, let me show you this. This is really cool. I wonder if I can give you um, some, I have this really cool drawing using one point, uh, the same idea of meandering, for shortening. I used it here in the, um, well, there's a couple here. I want to remember this. I want to, this, I want to show you page 150 of my drawing. I have a bunch of really cool examples in drawing in three of this book. And I'm going to find a few to show you this me the idea of the meandering. Um, I'll show you a couple. I'll show you a couple here. I got it. Okay, here's one on page 77. So, okay, now I'll show you 77 right now. So this one's called the Cool Canyon. All right, now look at, look at this one. Look at, look at the canyon, how it's meandering. See that? Isn't that cool? That was on page 7778 of Drawing in 3D. You see that we're using that foreshortening. Now let me show you the same idea of using the one-point perspective with foreshortening. And look at this one, page 150. This is a really good book. You guys would love it. So this one, oh, here's, here's two. This is the uh, highway with the Martian, the migrating Martian. See, he's hitchhiking, isn't that cool? But notice how it's for sure, it's going back to the one point back here. And then here's another example of that idea. And in this uh, book here, let me show you this. This one is the, I'll show YouTube. See that, see how the Martians, this is page 151, and this one is the moon mobile. And uh, I'm gonna show uh, Facebook here. There it is. There's Facebook. Isn't that cool? All right. It's it's kind of hard to show examples, but this is the book here. It's called Drawing in 3D. Drawing in 3D with Mark Pistol. I think you guys would love it. Why don't you go and get 10 copies? Ha, ha, ha. All right. Now, let's get... I got to get my camera all relocated here. All repositioned. Uh, raise that up. And... Coming across here. Oh, hey, Mo. How are you? Okay. And now, so we get back to work. So this is small. It's going to get bigger and bigger. This is small back here. Now, look at it. It's foreshortened. So technically, we're going to go horizontally straight across from each other with these guide points. It gets a little bit bigger. Watch this. His size. See this? Following the direction. And it gets large as it comes towards you. Watch this. Look how big it gets. Uh... There you go, 10 copies. That's wonderful. Woo! Now look, it starts small and it gets bigger as it comes out and tapers down. Isn't that cool? Oh, this will be really, this is going to be a really cool roadway. Now, let's, uh, let's start with the cactus. Now, this, this will be fun. Now, right here, I'm going to put, I'm going to put one, uh, I think what I'll do 
is I'm going to put one, one giant cactus right here. This, this big cactus, is the, it'll be so close, all right? And then over here, I think I'll put, I'll put a, a big one right here. Watch this. Right where, where the corner is supposed to be. I'm going to have the cactus, one, one cactus right here. It's going to get a little smaller, but we just kind of block them in. And I'm going to make this one a barrel cactus. This has a little arm coming out here and a little arm coming out here. All right, so there's one cactus. This, this guy has, has an arm coming out here. Okay, that's a barrel cactus. Now, I'm going to put one coming from, from here in the corner. Now, these cactus get smaller as they move away. A little desert highway here. And I'll put a little barrel coming up from the bottom. And then one up here in the top. All right, so they're, they're, they're bigger. They get smaller as they move away from you. So right here... Right here, I'm going to put a, a kind of a big, big one right here. And uh, kind of a big one because it's closer, right? And then I'll put one, I think I want to put one, maybe I'll put one right here. It's getting a little smaller, see? A little bit smaller. Now... That one is too close to this. To, I want to use more variation. So I think I'll put this arm a little higher up maybe. A little variation. Okay. Now, this one, as it moves back, I'm going to put one. I think I'll put one right here. A little smaller. A little tiny smaller one. And they're going to get smaller and smaller as they move back. Smaller and smaller. You see? So this one, just wherever wherever you, 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 could, you see a nice spot. Wherever you see a nice spot for one, and then we'll curve the bottom, and we're going to put some desert at the bottom. Does that make sense? Size. Uh, things get smaller and smaller as they move away from you. Okay? Things get, these cactus get smaller and smaller as they move away from you. And this one's going to be a little bit bigger because it's right there. Look at just I'm, I'm putting them just just a little here here and there, right? Isn't that fine? Just they're going back into the distance. It'll be a really cool desert highway. And I'll draw now. Uh, now I'll start adding the detail, but the. I'm gonna draw the, the mesa back here. This is gonna be like a cliff. I'm gonna draw like this, 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 this jagged kind of rock formation that the road goes through. And then see, it goes through this. I don't know what they call these. They call these guys the, the, the what? The, guardi, the guardian mesa to towers. So just do some kind of a real interesting silhouette, all right? And we're going to be darkening all this in. You guys with me? Do you love it? Yeah, we're using size and placement on this one a lot. So every it, it all lines up to this point here. It gets larger and larger and larger. Now, we'll start. I'm going to start with the detail, the big one first. I'm going to put the, the, the cactus texture, which is a bunch of prickly uh, spines, right? So put bunch of cactus just take your time on this one right put all this little and the texture is what's fun just enjoy yourself enjoy yourself with this one enjoy yourself let's put the let's put the uh, texture Put that texture. I love it. Lots of spikes. Lots of this. Now at the text, the floor, put the the texture like grass and weeds. You can put some tumbleweeds if you want. Now on this one, you can even put the cast shadows. Look at on this one. I took the time, and I put cast shadows. See that coming out from the. The sun, you can do that too if you want. All right, so I'm going to just go take my time. I'm going to put these 
texture, the spiny cactus, the poke, the, ow, don't, you don't want to brush against these. I've done that before. I grew up in California, in Southern California. We would go to the desert a lot, and we'd be hiking in the deserts, and if your leg brushed against these things, oh, my goodness, it, and I'm going to use texture to shade it. Look, you can put the spikes on one side, and that texture shades it. See that? You can shade it with the texture. I'm going to move this down just a bit so you can see what I'm doing. All right, now the roadway, I'm going to just darken in the roadway a little bit, adding more texture. <coughs> Good job, you guys. All right, how are you guys doing up there on YouTube? Uh, it's like Paris, Texas. This is great. Uh, lots of jumping chola cactus, that's right. Uh you can, you, oh, we can, the sun could be the logo. That's a good idea back there. Have the sun up there. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. I don't know. Let me see. Well, yeah, I guess we could. We could have the sun here with the, the light illuminating this coming down there. You could do that. You could have the sun back there if you want. Here, look, put the texture. Lots of these prickly. Isn't that cool? Do you love it? So you guys want to do that hour of pencil power with the sun up here. So I'll, I'll do that. I'll just kind of radiate the, the light coming down here. The sun's in the, the big giant. Boy, that's a big giant sun up there, isn't it? Or the moon. Maybe that's the giant moon in the sky. And this is our hour of pencil power. Hour of pencil power. Woo! Hour of pencil. There's our logo right there. Hour of pencil power. Well, you guys, I know we went we went over time a lot on this one, and I'm glad you guys are drew with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this more relaxing drawing lesson. Now I'm going to darken that in. That's going to be a silhouette, and then we'll darken that in here. So these. You just darken those those mountains in back there. Oh, you're still here. This is wonderful. Good to see. How many people do we have on Facebook still? Uh, how many times do we have on Facebook? How many folks still have staying with us to the end here? All right. I'm going to darken this all in. You can see I'm getting tired, huh? I get quiet. But this is really good Good for your 26 still drawing with us on Facebook. Wonderful. We usually times that by three, and that's usually the average number of viewers. So we have about, what, 75 on Facebook and about same number, about 75 on YouTube. Great to see you guys. And just take your time and enjoy it. And then we're going to use our Stompy to smooth this out. <clears throat> and then you can darken in that roadway. So you just kind of move around. Now, since the light's coming from here, we do the same thing. Look, I'm going to be shading opposite. So I'm going to use the, the cactus uh, prickles, spikes, needles, the cactus needles to shade away from the light source. And so this one, use more cactus here. Isn't that fun? Just, boy, there's a lot of detail here. Take your time. And 
get all the, the little cat, the smaller they get. Uh, you see, I just kind of jump around in my drawing. I just kind of jump it around here. I'm gonna work on this one. And now we get to darken in this side here. So dark, I kind of jump around. I work on a little cactus. Then I'll work on the roadway. Now this is where uh, my Micron ink pens come in handy when I'm doing something this detailed. Or I just have to really get, make sure I have a good little edge on my pencil. Uh, yeah, you can have you can have flowers on the cactus too. Someone sent me a nice text about cactus have flowers. If you get it, at the right time of the year, you see how the, the roadway gets small back there? You get it the right time of the year and the cactus is in bloom. It is, it's so awesome. All right, so now this, this light's coming from over here. I'm gonna put a little bit of darkness along the edge of the road. And more shading. All right, looking cool, you guys. Looking cool. Now, we got to darken in this mountain back here. And then we'll start doing our blending. Let's get that silhouette of those plateaus in the background. I can't wait. I hope you guys post pictures. I'll take a picture of this. I'll, I'll do a review. I'll do a review post, a picture of this, all right? Darken that in. Look at that. So there's our mountains. And now you know what I'm going to do for the hour of pencil power? I think I'm going to take it out of this. I'm going to leave that nice and bright. See, that's why we do it light with a pencil first. So we can just, we can fix it if we don't like it. So you want the sun up here. And then I'm going to have, look at, I'm going to have the light coming down like this see this is that is that interesting i'm using the darkness to make it look like it's light maybe that's the moon we, we did we make should we put like a a, a coyote little coyotes howling oh you could put coyotes up here howling at the moon so you, i'm gonna here's the these the light see what i'm doing I'm gonna follow that curve. See what I'm doing? Just use it more, just go have fun. I'm gonna erase these numbers here. That's kind of interesting sky, huh? Think if we were using watercolors, you can make some swooping colors here. So make it a little darker on the edge. You guys like this so far? What do you think, Mario? Do you like my, do you like my little drawing? Sure. Yeah. <clears throat> Very cool. And it just goes on till we get to the All right, now. Hey Mario. Hi. Look at people are saying hi to Mario. Hi. Hey bud. All right, looking good. Now, what I want to do is I want to use my Stompy. I'm going to, we're almost done. You guys did so great today. Let's go ahead and use the Stompy to smooth the sky out here. That's cool. Now, I'm going to use, I'm going to take my Stompy to even out that value of those silhouettes, right, of the mountains. And then I want to darken in um all the area here not the cactus or the road i want to just darken in the dirt i want to darken in the dirt for some contrast i i think it looks so i'm gonna i dip my stompy into the little mountains back there 
See, I dipped the stompy into the mountains. Isn't that fun? See, and then you just go around. Use your stompy like a paintbrush. I can't wait to see you guys as you... Uh, drawings i can't wait to see your drawings post them would you would you post them on when i when i when i put a picture of the the review a review post please do please post a comment put it in a comment section of my review post all right i'm gonna darken in got to get some more value here Oh, yeah, look at a whole new area here. Just, what do you guys think? Do you love it? Do you guys love love our little our little cactus drawing? All right. I'm rubbing. I see what I do is I rub it over there to get some cactus. Get, I'm sorry. Rub it over here to get some value to darken my drawing a little bit here. All right. Almost done. Wow, guys, was that fun or what? So we have our little, and I'm going to put, just let's put some little rocks and pebbles. Just a, just a few little, little dots. You know, it's not, it's not a perfect road. It's a, it's a, there's some rocks. Just, that's called a, um, uh, texture, just putting a little, and grouping, I group a little bits here and there. I don't put dots everywhere, just little here, little there. You kind of lose your eye to figure out where to, where to sort them out at. All right, good job, you guys. I'm so glad you guys uh, drew with me. I'm going to sign it down here and put the date on it. This is our Hour of Pencil Power. Um, I think what I'll do for the Hour of Pencil Power is I'll write it. I'll write it right here. Here is our hour of pencil. Hour of pencil, and it goes behind. Ha! I guess we're going to go to the other side here. Hour of pencil power. Woo! And there we go. Wow, that was a that was a long webcast. We went we went for a little bit longer than an hour, didn't we? Get our logo going. Our pencil power. And uh, this is the Mark Kissler Kid special. I'll write it right over here. And if you guys uh, uh, want to support us, please go to the GoFundMe. And, and if you like it, put in a buck a lesson, would you? Mark Kistler, this is the kids special. Uh, special live one hour every day noon webcast. Please go to GoFundMe and uh, pitch in a buck a lesson. I'd appreciate it. Attitude of gratitude, totally. GoFundMe. Um, also, you can sign up for the... Draw, draw3d.com, our membership for 75% off. Don't forget your 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 code there, your 75% off coupon code. So instead of $200, it's uh, only $50. And remember, uh, we have our summer art camp coming up. We have our summer art camp, fine arts camp coming up. I hope you guys uh, sign up $99 for a whole week for the Summer Fine Arts Camp. It's going to be so much fun. Thank you guys for drawing with us on the uh, our Hour of Pencil Power. Boy, that was fun. You guys are great. Stay creative. Stay positive. Stay patient with each other. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everybody.